Hi, this is Brent Demartini here at Demartini RV. We just got in the new 2021 Dynamax Europa. This is a brand new line. It's the shortest Freightliner Super C in the motorhome market. This is a 31 SS. We've got the prototype, the first one out from the factory, and we're really excited to have it. So why don't you come along and just check it out. Okay, here's the inside of the new 2021 Europa 31 SS. So this is a new decor that they've got going on in here. It's kind of like a light, modern, airy finish that um, is timeless as well. So this uh, has a beadboard ceiling that we haven't seen in motorhomes before. Looks really nice with the white shaker style cabinetry. Uh, we've also got a cloth couch, which I think is going to be really popular. Uh, offers something that's a little more comfortable to sit on and, and different from the basic motorhome furniture. And we've got a lot of windows in here, all of the seating on this one side, which gives us a lot of floor space, which is, this is very similar to the Asada 530 FW floor plan. Um, but what they've done is they've stretched it just a little bit and they added a wall here so that we can get a full door that closes off the bedroom. So we've got these doors here. Okay, so on the other side of the seating, uh, get, having all the seating on one side gives you more room for kitchen counter space. So that's why we've got this whole area here that's not a sink cover, not a stove cover, it's just counter space all the time. That's its only function. And if you'll notice the way that they have this sink, it's not at an angle, so it's really easy to get in here and do dishes. And it's a, a double bowl undermount stainless sink. If you need more counter space, there's also a flip up over here. And easy to get to this trash can. You can throw stuff down there, um, access the trash can from there. And we've got a lot of storage underneath the sink. And all of these drawers are a soft close. So you have a lot of drawer space there. There's five drawers and we have a three burner propane stove, flush mount. And look at this kitchen window. We have a lot of light coming into this motor home. Um, but one of the things that people were worried about was the TV. Um, they wanted to put the TV in a better location than they had in the past. It used to be up there in the bunk. Uh, and it was just kind of hard to get out when people are sleeping there or you have stuff up there and it wasn't really the optimal viewing location for people sitting in the dinette or the couch. And so the solution was to put it in the kitchen across from the seating right here. Um, and people are worried that you're going to lose a uh, cupboard space, but they've still retained all the cupboard space by just making that come out like that and so uh, you got a dual functioning purpose there you got the tv and cabinet space and then you also still have some cabinet space above the microwave and we've got a full-size convection microwave and as an option there's a 12 cubic foot um, nor cold refrigerator the four door so this one has it optioned in so that the advantage of that is uh, you can use propane or 110 volt. Um, but if you were to not get the, the two way refrigerator and get the standard refrigerator, you would have a 16 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Here we are in the bedroom of the 31 SS Europa. We've got a king bed. That was one of the things that was important to fit into this floor plan. So it's just long enough to fit a king bed that's on its own slide. So when you get somewhere, you don't actually have to put the entire wall out like on the 30FW. Uh, you can just put out just the bed if you want to sleep for the night, which is pretty nice um, and offers you a little more flexibility. And 
and over here we've got your entertainment center you've got a, a recess TV smart TV back there and here's the wardrobe um, this is the prototype unit from the factory and so um, they they put in a combo washer dryer just to show how the washer dryer prep works so all of these units will come with washer dryer prep uh, but they will not come with the the washer dryer uh, and we've got all the rest of the hanging space here and down below we've got four big drawers that are all cedar lined and uh, got soft clothes hardware so here's the bathroom in the 31 ss it's a really spacious bathroom uh, 36 by 36 inch shower with upgraded shower head and they leave a lot of extra room in here for people to get dressed after they take a shower so you can have this door closed and still have plenty of room to take a shower and up front here over the front of the Freightliner cab we've got this pretty spacious bunk area that has windows on either side and here we've got our touchscreen our Firefly multiplex touchscreen where you can control lights automatic generator start water pump slide outs um, your climate control and everything and as well as you can get an app on your phone if you want to con continue to use any of that on your cell phone wirelessly. The living room TV is an Insignia Smart TV and that's paired with this Bose Solo 5 soundbar and we've got HDMI wiring up here in the media cabinet just above the entry door so we can plug in any of our favorite HDMI sources and get them on both TVs. We've got storage cupboards on the sides here and we've got another one here by the entry door with a hanger hook in there and this one would be perfect for a cordless vacuum because they have an outlet in there Europa is built on the Freightliner M2106. Now this has a shorter length. This whole motorhome is only 33 and a half feet. So that means that we don't need the bigger engine. This one has the Cummins ISB. It's a 6.7 liter. Uh, and with when that's coupled with the Allison 3200 transmission, we can get a whopping 800 foot pounds of torque with 360 horsepower. And with this motorhome being so light, it has a really good power to weight ratio. So right here, we've got our Cummins ISB, the 6.7 liter. Uh, phenomenal engine, got a, it runs in higher RPMs and, and does a really good job climbing hills. I personally test drove this and climbed a 6% grade at, with no problems. I mean, we were accelerating the whole time. Um, so really nice drive. Um, ABS brakes, four wheels, air brakes, and we've got exhaust brake and uh, big Michelin tires, uh, 250 gallon fuel tanks. We've got the black um, tread step wells there, and we've got keyless entry. Now this paint is beautiful. This is the Quicksilver exterior full body paint and we've got a cut and buff finish on this. A really nice looking rig. And we've got the instant tankless hot water heater. Big storage containers all rotocast. Awesome storage. For such a small coach, uh, we can fit a ton of stuff with us. And the cargo carrying capacity on this motorhome is somewhere around 10,800 pounds. So just massive. You won't be able to use it. 
Uh, here's our exterior TV, which is pre-wired to the inside to where the HDMI uh, media center is. And we've got a sound bar out here as well. All tankless, frameless windows. We have our Waysafe uh, hitch right there that comes with the RV so you can know exactly what your tongue weight is. And all of our tanks are in this compartment, which is heated from the furnace. So for your cold weather camping, you don't have to worry about uh, freezing tanks. If you're keeping yourself warm inside, then your tanks outside will be warm as well. And this is a pass-through, goes all the way through if you have anything, long skis, fishing poles. Here's the rear of the Europa. We have a 12,000 pound hitch down low. We have our reverse lights, our seven-way plug, and it's a nice, sleek-looking rear cap that's all molded fiberglass. We've got a dual rear camera, one looking down at the hitch and one looking at the rear view traffic and some nice clearance lights up there. We have a power cord reel here on the driver's side in the rear, 50 amps, of course. And then we've got our macerator pump here in the wet bay, uh, in-house water filtration, and everything really easy to access. Comes with a macerator hose. Um, if you want to use bypass that, you can carry a, a regular sewer hose. Uh, cable is pre-wired and it's pre-wired for an outside satellite, for outside, um, a portable one. And then we've got the diesel generator here, 8,000 watts. That runs off of one of your 50-gallon fuel tanks and cuts off at a quarter tank. Here's your batteries. You have two starting batteries over there to the left and you have one 8D house battery. Uh, that is a big battery, should be more than enough. Uh, you've, that's coupled with your 200 watts of solar on this coach. Uh, if you end up needing more battery power for some reason, you can add another. They just didn't want to charge you from the factory and give you no choice on the second battery. And here we have our Magnusign inverter charger and our surge guard uh, transfer switch. So you've got a built-in surge protector and some extra storage up here up front. And we've got our side camera here, our diesel exhaust fluid fill. This is the other diesel tank fuel fill and here is a glow plug uh, for I mean the uh, block heater for the engine plugs in there um, these mirrors are really nice they're they're really big you can get a nice field of vision from these um, I really enjoyed driving and I could see everything around me so we've got our dual pitch armless awning um, comes down at a nice height that gives you maximum shade, but not, you know, something to bump your head on. Uh, and they've integrated the LED lights on the arms so that you've got light kind of protruding across your whole patio space. And uh, this does have a motion sensor. So if the wind kicks up too much more, it starts shaking around and it's gonna come back in automatically. All right, you guys, that's it for the new 2021 Dynamax Europa 31SS, the shortest Freightliner Super C on the market. If you're interested on more details or you wanna hear about pricing or availability, then email me at brent at demartini.com or give me a call at 1-800-576-1921. Thanks for watching.